The role of a director in a theatrical production like Marlena for expats is a bit more like an interpretive artist that is also a trained conductor. I'm weaving together really interesting design that encapsulates the 20th century with the genius of live performers. It is a beautiful story of a woman who is aging, but has to resist that aging in order to make a living. Doing a play about Marlena at this moment is also to bring up the tendencies of people to resist fascism. Well, what interested me about the Marlena play is that it is not just a play, but it is a play concert hybrid. And the final act of the play is indeed a concert just as Marlena would have done uh, in her later years. The fact that there is a woman trapped in a way by her own image and trapped also by the doings of the 20th century. We've located the play in the, this gap, in this space. It's like an odd waiting room, uh, the dressing room, a stage that isn't activated quite yet, but also the cinema screen. To see an older woman dealing with the effects of aging on her own body is still one of the most radical things you can do. I hope audiences learn a bit more about Marlena Dietrich, who truly was one of the first celebrities to be captured on screen and last through the 20th century. Die ganze Nacht.